Welcome everybody. So welcome to um, chapter 7 of Genesis for day 2's reading of the Chronological Bible Reading Plan uh, for 2023. So yesterday I was meant to actually read um, Genesis 4 to 7. But I only read three chapters because that's what we were required to do the day before. So I've completely missed chapter seven. So thank you to my sister who brought that to my awareness so I can go and read chapter seven in the name of Jesus. So Father, I just thank you right now for your beautiful, powerful word that it is alive and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. I thank you, Father God, that you write it on the tablets of each and every one of our hearts, Father God. I thank you that we are feasting on this through our eye gate and our ear gate in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that your word never returns void. And Father, I thank you for the fire that you're breathing upon and your wind, the wind of your spirit that's breathing upon this uh, Bible revival in the name of Jesus. I thank you that every person can catch this in the realm of the spirit, that it is time to be equipped and fully uh, matured in the things of God and in the word of God. So, Father, I just thank you, God, for the power of your Holy Spirit. I yield to your Holy Spirit right now. I thank you, uh, Father, and I, and I ask, Holy Spirit, that you anoint each and every word that comes out of my lips, Father. And I pray that everyone that's listening has spiritual eyes and ears to hear, that you reveal the mysteries of heaven to us father god and i thank you for our uh, revelation wisdom knowledge and understanding father god in everything that we read that you give us revelation god and that you immerse us in your presence in your love as we read your holy word and we thank you for the privilege of having this bible in our country that we get to freely read and declare the scriptures in the name of jesus and i just wanted to share something that um the lord used to speak to me about going and preaching the gospel and he said to me one day, how on earth are you going to go and preach the gospel if you know not the gospel? So it was very encouraging and that really gave me a deep desire for the word. And so I do lots of Bible studies. Um, but we've got a sister Liliana who shared in her um, clip this morning, which I completely agree with. And I loved it. She's like, just get the word in. God said to her, just get the word in. Get it in. Don't overthink it. Don't spend six months trying to find out the Hebrew, the Greek, the this and that, every translation just for that one scripture. Yes, it says to meditate on the scripture, but there's the whole entire scripture, not just the verses that apply to us or the verses that we want to follow or the verses that are impacting us. Thank you, God. So today I'm reading Genesis chapter 7 and I started again. I started reading it and then I had to stop and start again because... I immediately just was getting all this revelation and I got a bit bamboozled. So I'm just going to read through it. If I feel to stop and share something, I will do that because I tried yesterday to read it all in its entirety and then go back um, later. But of course, um, when the re revelation's coming at the time, um, you can't always find it straight away um, at the end. And so try and keep it quick. So this is uh, Genesis chapter 7. Um, day two of the 2023 chronological Bible reading plan. So this is the great flood. Then the Lord said to Noah, come into the ark, you and your household, because I have seen that you are righteous. So see how the Lord says, come into the ark, you and your household, because I've seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. You shall take with you seven each of every clean animal, a male and his female, two each of animals that are unclean, a male and his female, also seven each of birds of the air, male and female, and to keep the species alive on the face of all the earth. For after seven more days, I will cause it to rain on the earth 40 days and 40 nights. And I will destroy from the face of the earth all living things that I have made. And Noah did according to all that the Lord commanded him. Noah was 600 years old when the flood waters were on, earth, on the earth. So Noah with his sons, his wife and his son's wives went into the ark because of the waters of the flood. Of clean animals, of animals that are unclean, of birds, and of everything that creeps on the earth. Two by two they went into the ark to Noah, male and female, as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were on the earth. 
in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, on that day, all the fountains of the great deep were broken up and the windows of heaven were opened and the rain was on the earth 40 days and 40 nights. That's interesting. The windows of heaven were opened and then the rain came. So if we think about that in a spiritual sense, on the very same day, Noah and Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them entered the ark. They and every beast after its kind, all cattle after their kind, every creeping thing that creeps on the earth after its kind, and every bird after its kind, every bird of every sort. And they went into the ark to Noah, two by two, of all flesh in which is the breath of life. So those that entered, male and female, of all flesh went in, as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. So the Lord shut him in. Now the flood was on the earth forty days. The waters increased and lifted up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. The waters prevailed and greatly increased on the earth, and the ark moved about on the surface of the waters. And the waters prevailed exceedingly on the earth, and all the high hills under the whole heaven were covered. Wow. The waters prevailed 15 cubits upwards, upward, and the mountains were covered, and all flesh died that moved on the earth. Birds and cattle and beasts and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth and every man, all in whose nostrils was the breath of the spirit of life. All that was on the dry land died. So he destroyed all living things which were on the face of the ground, both man and cattle, creeping thing and bird of the air. They were destroyed from the earth. Only Noah and those who were with him in the ark remained alive. And the waters prevailed on the earth 150 days. Wow. Wow, imagine that. Imagine that happening. Literally, I know what it's like to be on a boat um, going over just to Tasmania and there's nothing but water around. It's, it's actually quite daunting, quite terrifying. Imagine being Noah and literally just being on the boat with your family with all these animals in this ark. There's no land to be seen and you feel like, one, you've built this boat this boat's got to like hold you up and all these animals up and imagine like the presence of God must have been so powerful to keep all them animals. This is a, such a supernatural miracle that all the animals actually didn't like attack each other, that they just obviously were just commanded by the Lord to do that. And then sitting there as Noah thinking like, you know, I am the only and my family, the only ones alive. It would just be... I can't even imagine that. Like, it would be very overwhelming. Um, but it was great how it was because he was righteous. Righteous before the Lord. So see how the Lord will share his secrets with the righteous. The Lord will share his secrets on, on what to do. Um, and his plans, he reveals his plans. And so Noah was very old when he did this. And so that's just so powerful, so powerful. So I thank you, Father, for your word in Jesus' name. Bless you.